Oh. Is it working? It seems it's working. Hello, hello. Let me know if everything is all right, mic wise, etc. That would be all good. Yes. Uh, let's see if the screen is working. It should be. Arm reveal. Just sharing this to a couple of groups. I'm just checking that everything is all working. You can see, is the camera all good? I might just move it a little bit to line it up a bit better. Like that, does that seem good? I think it does. You can see that fine. I don't think the camera needs flipping, really. Uh, maybe I should flip it, and then you can, everyone can read it. Uh, <laughs> there is. I've lost the transform. There we go. Okay, is that better? That seems better. If there's anyone there? Feel free to message in chat. It says that the stream looks good. Hey Ad, or oh, Ad, camera seems fine, that's all good. Is the mic good as well? I've never opened this before, so very excited. <laughs> well, I've opened three packs. Perfect. Yeah, I've, uh, let me just share the stream again. Uh, so. I've opened three packs of Crucible first edition before, like full stop. So I've got very limited experience actually with this product. <laughs> so very excited to be opening one of the first three sets of the game today. I'm not expecting to get anything good, but anything I do get is nice, obviously. Let me just, well, let me just show what I got from the first, like the few packs I got before. If I can find the box I put it in, that'd be very useful as well. <laughs> well there we are. So I've opened one cold four from the set before, and that was a. Uh, well, I opened three packs and got this. Hopefully, we can beat that today. That'd be nice. Oh, yeah. Turn the camera around. <laughs> It's all going well, so this is what I want to beat. Big money, no whammies. <laughs> Always want big money from Flesh and Blood. It's such a fun game to open. And like, I feel a bit sad, obviously, if I don't open anything good. But on the flip side, I've not opened much groups of so I get all of the commons, etc., which I just really don't own. So got a few of you guys in here I guess we can start to get started I'm gonna open them slowly and probably get faster as I go so it did have a small nick in the film at the back so hopefully it's all good inside it, sh it should be it's uh, one of my teammates opened a box from the same same case and uh, I believe they got a, what's it called, a cold foil Talisha. So either <laughs> I get no cold foil and I'm very sad, <laughs> or I get something nice. Oh my god, hey Simon, thanks for raiding, <laughs> good luck, I'm gonna need it. We've just removed the film, so let's 
see. Yeah, these all look good. Ah, oh, I'm opening a, a first dead box of Crucible of War. I've never op I've opened three packs from the set before, and this was the hit basically. Um, but I've never opened anything quite as insane as a box of, from one of the first three sets. So there's no going back now. I mean, we've opened it. So I guess should we get started, guys? Yeah, yeah. So this is big. Possibly. And I've opened three packs from it before, and this is what I got. Cold for Zephyr Needle. Hold on, let me just uh, do that. Let's see what we get, guys. First pack. Let's figure this all out, because, oh, these are narrow packs. <laughs> then. So I know. You can get some big cord fours. Uh, big hits are, well, there's three major, major hits from Crucible first. That is uh, the Extended Arc Twinning Blade, Cold Four Shiana, and Cold Four Arc Nightshard. I like the big three. Also in the set is the Majestic Cold Fours, such as Visiotronic, Perch Grapplers, and what's the other one? Um, Physiotronic Perch Grapplers, Breeze Rider Boots, Gambler's Gloves, and Crater Fist. So there's a, a number. <laughs> so I guess we'll start with the first pack. I don't know the pack makeup, but here we go. I've got a few sleeves here ready for it, and if I've got need more, I've got some of these. Uh, so, yeah. Right, let me just move here. So starting with a red. Crash for Week, nice common. Nebula Blade, common. Blue Choke Slam is nice. Blessing of Serenity. Oh. Cobra Blast. Death Dealer. Oh, Copper, I think that was introduced in here. And into the Rares, so let's see the pack break up. Zen State, Towering Titan, and a Swing Fist Fink later. So, okay, so these are for rares, Zen State and Towering Titan. And Swing Fist Finger Blade of Blue <laughs> was for foil, so not a great start in that regard anyway. But still a lot of packs to go. It's... Oh, these are a pain to open, actually. It's because I'm not used to the foil packs. I'm used to all of the paper packs now, which are very nice. Yes, it is a card opening. Red Out for Blood, Pathing Helix, Teclo's Workshop, very nice as a Teclo enjoyer. Although it's never played in him because it's just kind of bad. <laughs> Push Forwards, Rousing Aethra, interesting. Another Copper, Blessing of Serenity, Blue Cindering Foresight, Rushing River, and a Foil Dauntless. So, no hits yet. <laughs> I can't believe. Yeah. Crucible first, one big hit, basically the box is paid for. I paid £260, including postage for this. Um, so I'm hoping it pays off a little bit at least. So, Dawnblade, another Teclo's Workshop, Emerging Dominance, and a Soul Beat Strike, Combustible. Adult Cat's Sue is fun, Rousing A for Red, Promise of Plenty, Ooh. High Speed Impact, and Sutcliffe's Research Notes. I forgot that was in this set. Our crew first, same hit rate as our first. I think it's different, so the legendary rate I think is lower, it's like 1 in 220 packs, and they also don't have super res, so you have the standard same one in four packs as a Majestic, so we've done three packs, I think. Yeah, three packs, and got no Majestics, which means we're hopefully in line for an, like our first Majestic of the set. That should be nice. So let's have a look-see. Just putting all the packs behind me. So push forwards. 
draw onto tempo, predatory assault, adult dash, increase for tension is playable, Kano, rousing Aether, another promise of plenty, cash in, that's banned, ooh, that's nice, rainbow four seismic surge. So there are some nice, nicer cards in here. Uh, you can get all of the rainbow four uh, tokens. Uh, and they are, like, they're a bit harder to come by. Especially from first day, to my understanding. So while it's not a majestic, it's still a pretty cool pool. That's really cool, actually. So, uh, yep, Sutcliffs, Bittering Thorns, Torrent, Playable in uh, Blaze. Oh, sorry, the camera's not catching them very well. Snapback, Flying Kick, Teclo's Workshop, coming onto the rares. Dauntless, oh, first Majestic is Poison the Tips and a Red Foil Soul Beat Strike. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I realised uh, it's because the camera's, well, the light is behind, so first Majestic is, it's not great, but it's there. <laughs> it's a cool card. But it's not super good. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah. First Majestic Row. So a good on rate box is like eight Majestics in line of like modern packs. So Sutcliffs, Riled Up, Torrent, Trick Slam, Swing Fist Fink Later, Pathing Helix, Snapback, Towering Titan. Ooh, Spores of War is nice. That's a hit. <laughs> That's a good Majestic. First Dead Spores of War, very, very nice. <laughs> That was introduced in this set as well, with a Rainbow Four Soul Beat Strike. <laughs> That's nice. I'll take that. Also, there was one other thing with this set. We, I hadn't had, like, required, what's it called? Packs weren't guaranteed Cold Fours. So there was like a one in three chance a box wouldn't have one. So that is one risk with opening an older set like this. So, oh, moving them off. Consuming Volition was reprinted in the most recent sets. Raging Bighorn in yellow. Dauntless. And a four Rousing Aether. Rousing Aether is just a nerfed precursor to uh, Aether Wildfire. It just buffed them. It, it's basically on hit amp, like amp one. Oh, never mind. It's, it's not even on hit. It's just amp one on the card text. But it has to be a card, so yeah, I guess it's not quite amp, but it's like a precursor. It has to be a proper card played. So Choke Slam, Swing Fist, Hit and Run, Sleep Dart is nice, Flying Kick, Combustible, Brutal Assault. Ah oh, yes, the original traps. Ooh, and a foil reinforced for line. That's a nice one. Look at that. Hold on. Ooh. That's a very nice one, wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's a really cool card. Nice. Yeah, there were really, really good cards in this set. And some also really, really bad cards. There's like a lot of swing in what you can pull from Crucible. Uh, it's a very interesting set in that like, aspect. So hit and run, like good. Sleep Dart is good. Increase is not great. Solby Strike, I mean, some of these are playable. Yellow Reinforce, oh that's for rares. Promise of Plenty and another Red's Research Notes. So <laughs> you may end up getting a playset after all of this, which may be quite funny. So probably open in half, but it's a bit late now. Ooh. I also didn't own any spoils of war, so that's actually quite nice. Just in my collection full stop. So, Pathing Helix, Riled Up, lots of brute cards in this pack, Meet and Greet, playable, Push Forwards, Blessing of Serenity, and onto the rares, Barraging Bighorn, Dauntless, and oh, the wrong Twinning Blade, Rainbow 4 Twinning Blade, that is a really pretty card, but wow, is this a Penny Sleeve, yes, oh, that's pretty, oh, that's a, that is a perfect fit, never mind, where's my Penny Sleeve? 
I had some out specifically for this. I think this may be one. Oh, okay, I'll just put it in a perfect slip sleeve for now. Oh man, that is a very pretty card. It's not the extended art, but I'll take it. Look at that. Sheesh. <laughs> I will take that. That's a tenth of a box value right there. I'm pretty certain. I think it's like a 30, 30 pound card or something in Rainbow Four. So that's a very nice hit. So yeah, about a tenth of a box there. Uh, hey, Rune Chant, consuming. Blessing of Serenity, just catching the light better. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Predatory. Pathing Helix. Overblast. Is that a cold frog? <gasps> oh, that's. A... <laughs> Look at that. Cold four mandible claw. <laughs> oh, that is good. Wow. Oh, let's go. That is a good hit. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I just opened this. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Grading time. That's a, that's a huge hit. Yo. <laughs> oh, that. That card is sick. That's so cool. That's the harder one to get. Nice. Oh, let's go. How much was the box worth? The box is 260. So <laughs> that's not the whole box back, but that is, <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> Holy shit. I was worried I'd get like fucking cold for a red liner. Oh, 150, that is a hit. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh wow, that's that's a sick card. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. There was another thing you can get double cold for boxes. It is possible we hit more. Unlikely, but would be really really cool. Holy crap! All right, so the boxes are live, guys. Cindering Mangle. There's another one. Oh, Rain Before Benji. That's fun. I forgot there were Rainbow Four heroes in here. Oh man, that's that's crazy. <laughs> and a Rainbow Four Benji too. You're missing the right one. Oh man. Why keep this one? To be fair, that that is such a sick card. One in twenty-seven ish. That's not terrible actually. Hey, <laughs> go by right there. Hey, Ian. Hope you're doing all right. Okay, wow, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing already. Uh, predatory Assault, Consuming Volition, Choke Slam, Morph Skies Yellow, I forgot that was in here, Rock Slide Trap, and a Blue Foil Tech Levossin's Workshop. God, that card sucks. <laughs> real cards, yeah. Opening for real crap. Let's go. And we've already hit, like, two really nice hits here with a Twinning Blade and Cold Form Mandible. Yeah, even if I hit nothing else, this box was really, really good, like, already. Crush, Emerging Dominance, Yellow for Boding, oh, Silk for Wound. Oh, man, I can't believe that. I'm in blue, uh, rares, and a four snapback. That's actually nice. Oh. Close day when Keo goes, I'll probably be interested in buying the right one. <laughs> I doubt they'll I doubt they'll go, I think. Well I think they will go. I think LSS is worried about them uh, like breaking well, like just limiting design space in brutes because you can just go blood rush, claw claw. Yeah, still a chance for a bunch of stuff in here. Ira, woo! Promise of plenty. Uh, first at Metacarpus and a four bittering fawns. Nice. I needed to upgrade my Metacarpus from white border to black border, so that's a way of doing it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of early weapons were just too strong. Uh, 
And this box is pretty good so far. This is a really good box. It keeps going. I know. How many packs are left? Oh. A decent number, actually. We're like just over halfway through. So, Sleep Dart, Pathing, Bravo, Hidden Run, Teclos, Crucible, I forgot that was in here, Crush, and then Verez, Crane Dance, Mandible Claw, and a Foil Red for Building Bolts. That's also quite nice. This is a really, really fun box to open. <laughs> I see why people talk like so highly of this set. I'm having, I'm having tons of fun opening this. Like Rainbow Four Heroes, Rainbow Four Tokens. Like this is this is awesome. So rod up, soul bead. Like there's a lot of blues in this. Uh, crush, rushing river, barraging, and a foil rune chant. Yes, that's very pretty. Oh, that's nice. Some really nice stuff in here. continue as this box is there's still quite a few packs left in this box actually wow oh my cat said butting me hello cat hello sydney brutal assault soul bead dauntless rushing river and a foil overblast uh i think it just about has this is a really good box so far <laughs> and the fact that there's still more to go <laughs> like this is a crazy crazy box uh rhino crush and a foss push forwards suck lifts teclos swing fist towering titan crane dance and a foil barraging big one so we got a four rare out of that which is enough just sorting my deck for tomorrow and pq season let's go who are you taking, KO or Runeblade? As I know you were talking about uh, playing a Runeblade. I got nine. Ugh. Rousing, Overblast, Crash for Weak, Swing Fist, Push Forwards, Out for Blood, Assault for Wound, Cavdeen, I forgot he was in there, Reinforce for Line, and another Teclos Workshop. I think I've got a white border covered in, so that's quite nice. Wrecking Florian, I think this is better, but Florian. Yeah, I mean, if you want my Guardian itch, then play Florian. Like, that's it. Just, it just makes sense, you know. So, right up. Calling Tunic's second last pack. Oh, I wish. <laughs> That'd be sick. That'd be so cool. Kalachi, that's nice. Zephyr Needle, good. Oh my god, another Spoils of War. <laughs> Double spoils box. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, so this is the third to last pack. <laughs> Double spoils box, but like what is this? Spoils is a spoils is a pain to like just pull in general. Oh this pack didn't open very well. And like I didn't have a single spoils in my collection and now I've opened two and my first eds. Uh Predatory, Suckliff, Swing Fist, Morph Skies. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, and the Foil Majestic in the same pack! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god, Krunic time! What a dirt box. This box is insane. I scared my cat. Sorry, Sydney. Love you. Move closer. No. He's just sitting there. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> oh, this box is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> this box. I feel so bad for my teammate. He lost so much money on his box. You were here. You were. <laughs> oh my goodness. This box is so good. <laughs> right. 
Sylvie out for blood, Mr. I. I don't think this box can, can be beaten, really. Talisha, another foil rune chant. Oh, wow. Uh, so there's a swear word on Twitch. It, it is, I had to manually allow that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh man, this, this box is insane. This box is the gift that keeps on giving. Final pack, any more last pack magic. Oh man. Uh Edge of Autumn. High speed impact. Rod up. Oh no, but this uh, I'm so happy I went like I went out and brought this. Holy So what was this? Double Majestic First Dead Tunic No sorry. Like uh so what was it? Double Rainbow Four Majestic with the absorption oh yeah, hold on, this is this is my penny sleeve. That's what the claw needs to go in. Uh, there we go. I found it. And let me just look at the edges on this. Like this, this claw looks really good. I think I'm gonna grade this. Like, oh man. Man. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Wow. 125 men for the crew first. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is such a good box. <laughs> is the tunic worth grading? Uh, the claw definitely is. Like, just looking at it. It has a tiny bit of whitening on the corners, but that's it. Um, yeah, first a tunic, <laughs> two spores of war. <laughs> oh. I I don't know what to say. I think the tunic might be worth grading. Uh. Oh, this looks really good. Wow. Oh, never mind. It's got a it's got a ding. Oh, it's not focusing. Uh. It's got a slight ding on that corner. Because it is crew first, it doesn't hurt it, is it? Uh, the Fable is the highest rarity. Um, that's the biggest hit you can possibly pull. Um, tunics are very rare. Highest foiling, I mean. Uh, I think the tunic is quite expensive, but I'm not sure. Like, this box was just absolutely gas. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm blown away. This was a sick box. This, this box was insane. Holy... Well... <laughs> uh, oh, true. But I also, like... How often am I going to get cold for some of the first three sets? Like I've got, I've got two. I've got the Zephyr Needle cold for which got a nine point five, and I've got the right hand claw. Wow, and I love the rainbow, little rainbow for Benji. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's so cute. Are you off, night man? <laughs> I, I am blown away by this box. This box was incredible, and rainbow for twinning blade as well. Like that's uh, this I made for money back, yeah that claw is worth more than the tunic. It is, it is. Like the tunic is it's non for the tunic unfortunately. It's like it is for Krunik. But man Like I wasn't expecting this box to like be anywhere near this good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh I'm I'm buzzing. So what was it? Like the, the pools, so did we 100% broke even? 
So tunic is like 100 pounds. Uh, mandible claw was like 150 last I checked. So these two alone were pretty much what I paid for the box. Uh, twinning blade rainbow foil is like 30. So that's immediately quite a lot over. I think a lot of the rainbow four tokens are like a tenor and we got three of them, I think. We got like two rune chants. So these honestly could be moved aside just alone. And uh, we did get a rainbow four reinforced line. That thing is nice. And a rainbow four seismic surge. So there were some nice, like just uh, interesting hits in here. Yeah, 140 for the right claw. So. Yeah, definitely made a, like made bank on this one, which is kind of rare. <laughs> well, actually, actually, no, I've been pulling hot recently. Like, I've been pulling really well. Oh, God, I don't know what to say. I'm going to have to organise all of these cards now. <laughs> That's the best part. Oh, <laughs> That's so good. And the spoils are really nice, too. Like, I don't... How much of a spoil was... I don't think they're too expensive, are they? They, are, they aren't cheap, but I don't think they're too bad. Let me just check. Let me, let me look on card market. Uh, it's spoils of war. Crucible first. Yeah, it's a tenner each. I'll take that. I'll take that. So, not bad, not bad. Uh, first Ed Metacarpus probably isn't too expensive in non like uh, in non fall. I don't think. Crucible first regular. It's it's a fiver. Yeah, it's not too much. It's pretty cool. Uh, actually, the cheapest one's seven pounds. So I think most of them are about a tenner when it like comes to uh, just pricing. I think for Rainbow for Benji is. Not too expensive. Oh, he's he's like twelve quid actually. That's not bad at all. Yeah. So like just in loose cards, I was making a reasonable amount of money back from this. And as a resident Benji enjoyer, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> wow, wow. And how much are the tokens? I think they're like about the same. Like Rainbow Four Rune Chant. Just looking it up. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Everfest first. That's not for one. Oh, maybe it's not worth much. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're like a quid each. Yeah, that's far less than I was expecting. I'm surprised by that. Now you've got to go. I've never seen these Pokemon before. This is Gen 6 and that. Nice. <laughs> no, no. This is, yeah, flesh and blood. So I want to see the crew first, re like value, uh, like a three pounds ish for a rainbow for reinforced line. I've seen, although it's saying that we've recently sold for as much as eight. So who who to trust here? <laughs> no, no. I, wait, were we? It's, I don't think so. I think we pulled some non fours uh, in here. It says you can pull non four ones. As I could have sworn I pulled a couple of them. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I could have sworn I pulled a non four token. I guess you you could be right, yeah. Oh no, no, there we go. There's a non four rune chant. There we go. I thought I'd pulled one. So, yeah. So, yeah, you can get both. <laughs> I knew I'd seen... I knew I'd seen one somewhere. Apparently, rarer than the Rainbow 4. Yeah, I got three Rainbow 4 tokens and one non-4 token. That's an interesting ratio. BCG grading for Tunic Crucible first. Only 31 graded. 
8.5, 1.8.5, 29s and 10, 9.5. So never a 10. Interesting. Well, I think Crucible is hard to grade. Like, there's so many, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, they all have corner dings, is my understanding. Oh, okay, in Crucible U, they were only had for non uh, things. That's fair. Oh, yeah, I, I, I missed this. Thanks for following Nick Tor and uh, Scowling, who's left. I think maybe they people are a bit sad about opening non files. That's the only thing I can guess here, like, with regards to that. Like, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> Man, this box, I, I, I still can't believe it. <laughs> wow. I'm, I can't believe it. Anyways, this was just going to be a quick stream before I had dinner. I've not, I like had this arrive while I was at work and it's like, cool. Oh, okay. It was only welcome to Rainbow from before. Interesting. Man, I'm blown away. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone, for like joining us for this. This box was absolutely cracked. Wow, <laughs> such a cool box! <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow. Oh. Thanks for coming by, Pockets. It was lovely to have you here uh, to watch this box. Like this was one of the luckiest boxes I could have like if I'm gonna open a like a really good box <laughs> you have one pack of your goal you were really close to that I was like doubting so hard and then I poured for tunic in the same pack <laughs> oh man thanks everyone for joining and <sighs> if I don't leave now I won't leave at all because it's so much fun talking with all of you this was amazing. All right, thanks so much for everyone coming, and I see you all around. Bye-bye. <laughs>